Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Bitcoin has hardly moved today. The bulls and the bears are still fighting here uh, in our current wave four. So we're going to zoom in in a minute. Just want to take the opportunity first to take a quick look at the big picture um, starting at the November low. So the idea is still that of the November low, prices moved up in a wave one, topped in February, came down in a wave two. We're basically now in a third wave rally that can take us into way into the 40k region if it works out. Within the um, third wave, we are dealing with a, another one two setup highlighted here in yellow. This wave two bottomed on the 15th of June in our trend reversal area after it reacted to the 50% retracement at 25,312. Of that area, we've been moving higher and we are now basically assuming that we are in a third wave of a third wave rally. Um, there is key resistance around 31,460 that price now needs to go beyond. And prices made, or last week, prices made the highest price and marked the highest price um, within the last 12 months. So it's starting to get interesting. Um, yeah, price has basically doubled itself um, in an environment in which interest rates have increased. Something that many people, I don't know, ignore. Okay. Um, but uh, yeah, so basically, based on this analysis, we question very much, are we still in a bear market? Obviously, it is still possible to make another bear market low. And um, if we break through certain support areas, we have a cascade of breaking supports, then we can look at that. But at the moment, we're just holding all relevant bullish support areas. So from that point of view, we are focusing on higher. Also, the movements to the upside have been fairly impulsive whereas any pullback has been fairly corrective. So all of that structurally points towards further upside. Yeah, if things change, I will always let you know. We need to be flexible enough in order to change our view. That's, um, that's very important, okay, to react to these dynamic markets. Okay, so at the moment, um, we are basically therefore in a bullish environment, in a bullish structure. Proportions are looking good as well. And I will um, focus here on the upside as long as I don't see any clear bearish signs. So what is the current scenario? So first of all, we are in an overall bullish scenario. Within that overall bullish scenario, there is a short-term bullish one and a short-term bearish one, which includes a deeper pullback before going higher. So in the primary scenario, because we're currently holding that support level at 28,546, we're expecting one more push here to the upside. The idea is that of the 15th of June low, price rallied in a wave one, came down in a wave two, rallied in a wave three, came down in a A wave, moved up in an overshooting B wave, is now coming down in a C wave. This would be a wave four and then another high is to happen. This scenario assumes that price can hold 28,546. And as long as this support level stays intact, another high is anticipated in a fifth wave. Yeah. Um, okay, within this scenario, there are again certain sub scenarios. I don't want to confuse you too much. That's why I said as long as the 28,546 level is holding, we can assume that a fifth wave into the low 32k region is still to happen um, but yeah there are a few ways for everybody who's interested so we could for example say that we topped in the third wave on wednesday last week we had an a wave down an overshooting b wave and a c wave down one more low is missing in this scenario the problem is that this wave four pushed a little bit too high to still be reliable so from that point of view we have possible different scenarios like a w x um, y structure for example where the wave 4 could already be finished here and then this might be a wave 1 to the upside and if we get a wave 2 down and hold support we can go higher so this is a support, a support area I already communicated on discord and telegram earlier today where I said okay if price can hold a higher low now in any pullback holding above 30,138 then the wave 5 might have started already yeah, very important we hold that support but if we break below that level then wave four is still in the making and we're looking for a deeper wave four yeah uh, but there are different ways how this can be labeled i think the key is really that if it now can hold a higher low we can look forward to an unfolding wave five 
This is all part of the short-term bullish scenario. And the fact that we had a very shallow wave two down here on the 19th of June, we have an overshooting B wave. Um, these hints give us clues that there's something very bullish which is happening here at the moment, okay? You know, there is no guarantee, but you know, they, they are sort of clues we're looking at. Okay, so what is the short-term bearish scenario then? The short-term bearish case only really gets active if price breaks below the 50% retracement at 28,546, because then the assumption would have to be that we are pulling back in a wave two already, something that we would only do after the fifth wave. But obviously, as per the alternative count, the wave one could already have finished on Friday and we're already in this wave two pullback here. Yeah? Um, so either the wave two starts now or after that additional high depends which support is now holding. Okay, And if we go deeper now, then price should get into the region between 28,101 and 26,190. Um, as long as it's holding that 78.6 retracement down here, the assumption is that it can still rally in a third wave, only below 26,191. A sustained break below that level, we are flipping to something short term, even more bearish. And we then have to assume that this larger wave two is still unfolding and it would have to be reset and then we have support all the way down to 22k. But you can see already there are a lot of bullish support areas available, which indicates there is a lot of support between the current price and possibly new bear market lows. All of these support areas would need to break in order to bring us closer to a new bear market low and in order to make a new bear market lows more probable. Yeah, but besides that, there is not much more to add. Um, I think all eyes now need to be on this small orange support area here. If it can hold this support box, then it would indicate that wave five has already started. Yeah, that's my update about Bitcoin. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership and also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. There is additional content you can find on our channels um, every day, signals and other content, and you can find the links in the video description. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.